Hello everyone and welcome back. In this session, we will observe some solved problems on elimination of left recursion. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the outcome of today's session, today we will observe four solved examples on eliminating left recursion. Consider the first example. Observe this production. P can be rewritten as P plus Q or Q. Here, P is similar to the generic non-terminal A, which is again reappearing on the right hand side as the leftmost non-terminal. Now we can treat this plus and Q as alpha. Also, this Q here can be considered as beta. So clearly, it is a left recursive production. Now we can eliminate the left recursion if we convert this production into this form. So let's do that. So from the start symbol, we should first generate beta, then a new non-terminal, which in this case is this A prime. Then from that newly formed non-terminal, we should generate alpha followed by that newly formed variable or epsilon, which gives us the ability to generate empty string, or we can stop the derivation of alpha at our will. So here it will be, P can be rewritten as Q, which is B time here, followed by a new non-terminal P prime. Now P prime can be rewritten as plus Q, which is alpha for this production, followed by P prime or epsilon. Observe, now this is a right recursive production, as because P prime is reappearing as the rightmost non-terminal of the right hand side in this production. Let's now move on to the next example. Observe this grammar. S can be rewritten as S0, S1, S or 0, 1. At first, we need to identify the non-terminal A, then alpha and beta. So here, S is the A which is reoccurring as the leftmost non-terminal in the right hand side. Then the remaining portion that is 0S, 1S is the alpha in here. Now finally, this 0, 1 is clearly this beta. Now we need to convert this into this form. So the start symbol S can be rewritten as 0, 1 that is beta in this case followed by the new non-terminal, say, S prime. So, S prime should be rewritten as 0 S 1 S, that is alpha in this grammar, followed by the same newly formed non-terminal S prime. This one makes the production a right recursive one, or epsilon. Now, we have eliminated the left recursion for this grammar. Let's observe the third example now. Observe this grammar. A can be rewritten as left parenthesis B, right parenthesis or B. And B can be rewritten as B into A or A. Now there is no left recursion in the first production. However, in case of the second one, B can be treated as our generic non-terminal A, which is again appearing as the leftmost non-terminal in the right hand side. Now the remaining portion, that is this into an A, can be treated as alpha in here. And finally, this A is clearly the beta. So we need to convert this production rule into this form to eliminate the left recursion. Now B will be rewritten as A, that is beta in here, followed by the new non-terminal B prime. This way, we have sorted the production having the beta which is A in here. Now it is the time to formulate the new non-terminal B prime. Just like the A prime in here, B prime should also generate the alpha portion first. So B prime should be rewritten as into A, that is alpha for this production, followed by B prime itself or epsilon. Now the entire modified recursive grammar would be A can be rewritten as B and closed in parenthesis or B, then B can be rewritten as AB prime. Finally, B prime can be rewritten as into A B prime or epsilon. Let's now move on to the next example. Consider the fourth example. Observe the grammar. A can be rewritten as A alpha 1 or A alpha 2 or A alpha 3. 
like this we have certain number of a alphas or beta 1 or beta 2 or beta 3 or dot 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 which signifies some more betas with increasing suffixes. Now we need to convert this into this form. Can you find out the left recursion in here? Go ahead, pause the video for a moment and try out. Now let me illustrate. In this grammar, all the productions of the form A followed by alpha are the left recursive ones as they all have the A as their leftmost non terminals. So the rephrased production rules should be A can be rewritten as beta 1 followed by A prime or beta 2 followed by A prime or beta 3 followed by A prime and so on. Basically, we need to incorporate the same format for all the betas. Now A prime should facilitate the ability to derive the alphas. So A prime can be rewritten as alpha 1 followed by A prime or alpha 2 A prime or alpha 3 A prime. Then so on and so forth or an epsilon. Now this is the right recursive version because look at the productions of A prime. Except epsilon. All the other ones have A prime as their rightmost non-terminals. So this is how we eliminate left recursion. Do remember that we need to eliminate the left recursion because top-down parsers get confused while dealing with the left recursive grammars. So they basically reject those. So in this session, we observed four solved examples on eliminating left recursion. Alright people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we will observe the non-deterministic context-free grammars. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.